Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to interact with Google Calendar using Python code. Before we move forward and understand the code, we need a few things to set up. First, we need to go to GCP console. There, go to I am an admin. You can go to I am an admin from this menu as well. Then select service account. You need to create a service account. There is a strong possibility that you have app engine default service account. But if it is not the case, you need to create a new service account. Give your service account a name. Make sure you provide owner permission to the service account so that you don't face any issues interacting with Google Calendar. But when you do that, you need to make sure that you don't share the service account with anyone you don't trust because it is sensitive information. Once you download the service account JSON credential file, you need to go to API and services, click enabled API and services, enable API and service, search for calendar, hit enter. There will be Google calendar API. Click on that. You will see enable button here. Click enable. Once you do that, head over to Google calendar and select the calendar on which you want to work. Then from this three vertical dots, go to settings and sharing. Scroll down, you'll see sad with. Click on add people and group. Now the service account credential will look something like this. In this JSON file, you will have client email address. Copy the client email address. Paste the client email address here and select manage changes to events and hit send. Finally, you will need this calendar ID in order to interact with the Google Calendar. Once you have both the things, we can move towards the code section. I have Visual Studio Code opened in a folder where I already have written some code and I have a terminal opened as well. I'll use UV in it to initialize a new virtual environment. It is not necessary to use UV. You can use any tool to create a new virtual environment and install all the packages mentioned in the requirements.txt file. I'll use UV to do that. Then I'll say UV add hyphen R requirements.txt and hit enter. It will install all the packages from this requirements.txt file into the virtual environment. Let me clear the screen. Now here in my main pie, I already have written few amount of code which interacts with the Google Calendar. The first thing I do is I create a service of Google Calendar using service account JSON file. There are two ways to create a service first directly reading a service account JSON file. Second way is converting the value of this service account JSON file into a single line so that we can read it using .env package. I am using .env to load and read the env file and then reading the service account and loading it as a json and i'm also reading the 
calendar id and i have variable meeting time equals to 30 minutes now in this main.py we have successfully created the service there are a couple of functions i already have written one to create an event one to get free slots for a day one to find if a particular slot is free or not and one to get random free slots for upcoming days so let's look into create event it takes meeting date meeting time and time zone first it creates start time then it creates end time and it adds 30 minutes into the start time then i create an event i have summary start end and reminders then i'll actually go to the service dot event and try to insert and execute that thing whatever result comes i return it so since this is asynchronous function in order to run asynchronous function i'll use asynchronous dot run and then provide the function name and the argument so you can see i'm creating a meeting on 10th june at 5 pm so let's try to run this so in order to run it i'll say uv run main dot pi and hit enter the code ran successfully and indeed if i come here i can see a demo meeting at 5 pm ist so this create event function works well the same way you can use get random free slots it takes working days with start and end time so if you look here i have working days with start and end time object which has keys as days name and it is again an object with start and end as a key and inside we have colon separated time so this function finds random slots that falls into this working schedule then i have is a slot free function which takes meeting date and time and time zone and checks if that date and time has a free slot or not in the calendar finally i have one more function which gets free slots for a particular day again it takes the meeting date and working days with start and end time object and the time zone and it finds the free slots for that particular day so i hope this information is helpful to you the code used in this video is available on my github and the link of this repository is in the description of this video in case you download the code from my github repository please consider giving it a star that helps finally i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video and you are now able to communicate with your google calendar using python and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching enjoy the life feel the music peace